hello everyone and welcome back to my channel as you already have seen in the title we are going to do a makeup look or how I did my makeup in my 20s I know a lot of guys did like the how I did my makeup in school or high school thing but no one wants to see me how I put mascara on in five minutes because this is how I did my makeup when I was in school. There was no eyeliner, no concealer, powder or anything, just mascara. That's it. So I thought about doing it a bit different and just showing you how I did my makeup in my 20s. Um, and I mean in the beginning of my 20s. And yeah. I don't really have much of products in front of me. I have used like just these kind of brushes and this is actually a brush from my 20s like this teeny tiny I don't even know what this kind of brush is. I, I don't know. I stopped using it. I will never use it again because what the hell is this brush I don't know <laughs> and yeah I will of course use concealer and I will use only one eyeshadow only one eyeshadow I had one eyeshadow in my 20s it was my favorite eyeshadow of all time this is the backup I bought because I was running through the first one I bought. I mean, I never run through any makeup. I will never get anything empty, but this one got empty. So I got a backup before Essence started their new collections. And this is the shade 35 Party All Night Metallic Effect. Super soft in long lasting eyeshadow. And this was my favorite. It's oh my god, this packaging. It's so cheap and ugh. but yeah, as you can see I have never touched this. I just bought it as a backup and I never used it. Because my taste has changed, the way I put on makeup has changed and yeah. But I would say I will start off just putting on concealer because no primer, no foundation, just concealer. And in my 20s I love the Essence Stay All 16 Hours Concealer. This is also one of my favorites, I mean it's been one of my favorites. And this is a long lasting concealer, waterproof, and we have the shade 20 soft beige. And I would say let's just start right here putting on some concealer. Doesn't smell really nice, but okay. And please excuse my very very visible freckles it's summer sun is out and my freckles become more and more so this is how i would do it i will just slap this on as much as i could and i will use the same kind of sponge i still use concealer is so bad like it didn't cover up anything and this is the reason why I would always go in for a second time and I will even go over my lid I still do this 
when I put on daily makeup so I don't have to have to use any primer or something like this. Yeah, that's it. And it still didn't cover my eye wax. But yeah, that's how I would go out. And as you can see, I do have a little dot over here. I would cover this as well. Not that it would cover it. Still there. God, this is the worst. I don't know. <laughs> okay, then I will go over this with my beloved Essence All About Silky Matte Fixing Powder. And it's broken. It's broken like whoop. You know, whoop. Okay, this powder is wonderful, and I have used it um, for very very long time. I've purchased this like many times, and yeah, I still like it. I still do. It's making a wonderful job. use a bigger powder brush and just go in like this and do my face and then I would go into blush I don't have the blush I have used in my 20s anymore. Um, I do remember it was this kind of mosaic blush pressed powder thing from Essence, but I do have the Essence Would You Love Me highlighter and blush palette, and the blush looks like from the color like the one I have used. Um, I will just use the same brush and go in and just so you know I have not used highlighter I have not done my eyebrows no contour absolutely nothing Damn it, this is so powdery. And this is it. Let's start with the eyeshadow, I would say. I would use just this plain eyeshadow. And I would go into it with a fluffy brush and slap this all over my eyelids and I will bring this up very high Then I would use a flat brush, go into the eyeshadow again, and pack this on the lid. Like really deepen this. know what I was thinking that this is it that this is the makeup look because there's no 
death or anything with just one eyeshadow. But I have to admit, I still love the eyeshadow. It's super pretty. Then I would use this super pretty little brush. Would go into my eyeshadow again. And put this on my lower lash line. No smoothing out or anything, just this. And then for the inner corners, I would use just a golden pencil eyeliner. I decided to use the one from Essence because everything right now has been from Essence and I only remember owning Essence when I was when I was younger, you know. When I remember right, I think I also may have used a golden eyeshadow, but I don't think that this is making any difference. It's just about the fact that I did highlight my inner corners. Yeah, and like I said in the begin beginning, I would not do my eyebrows. I would just leave them. The only thing I also have done is putting on a black eyeliner just above my eye. Just like this. Nothing special, nothing crazy, no liquid. Then I would go into the lower lash line as well with the 2-in-1 eyeshadow and liner. Waterproof, this is from Essence as well. Um, I have not used this exactly because this didn't exist, but I was using some kind of metallic brownish eyeliner. I know I had one from Soeva, I have not found it, but this is like the one from Soeva and I will just go, just you know, so it's darker and on the waterline as well. It looks horrible. I don't even feel that I have makeup on. Okay, then I would just use any mascara I would have. Um, I don't own the Essence mascara I have used back then, but I will just use this Primark one because it wasn't important for me what kind of mascara I was using. I had many different ones from Essence, one from Lancome and Clinique and yeah but it wasn't important for me which one I would use so let's just use any mascara we have right here. And the only thing that hasn't changed over the years is the fact that I'm using a lot of mascara. One eternity later. But you know, when you 
really fuck up like this and you use only one eyeshadow, it doesn't matter because you have used only one eyeshadow. <laughs> this is the only good thing about this. <laughs> good damn it. Okay, for lips, I would use a red kind of lipstick, but nothing too red, because I do remember when I was 26. 27 I think 26 I started wearing red lipstick and before I did wearing it I kind of used these sheer lipsticks this one is from Esther I know this is not super old just like two years two years nothing more and this is also a lip balm so it's hydrate Hydrating. hydrating to your lips and it's a berry kind of color nothing too heavy and as you can see I have used it really and this is something I would just use because I didn't like too heavy lipsticks can't relate This lip color is so not matching the eye look. And I was going out like this. Like, this was my full glam makeup when going out, having dinner. Oh my god, I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> this is so. No. Mm. Okay. It could be the black hair because I know in my 20s I had blonde hair. Yes, I was blonde, like full blonde. But this lip color? No. No. Okay. Well, this is the full makeup look like I've done it when I was younger. I have not used many products. I'm I don't rem I don't miss this concealer like no. This is a bad concealer. No. I don't like it. Uh, I don't miss the lip color I also. It's I mean, it feels nice, it f it's kind of summery, but no. Do I like the eyeshadow? Yes, I still like it. It's still one of my favorites. I don't think that you can still purchase this, I think, no. But... I wouldn't put it on just like I did right now, but just to make any eye go pop. Yeah, definitely. I will keep this. And I'm so happy that I have found it again in my drawer. Would I use the All About Silky Matte Powder again? I don't think so. I mean, I do like it. It leaves a smooth finish. Um, but I'm just more happy with my Le Mer, the powder. This is so much better. I have found much better powders. But if you are on a budget and you are looking for something that's smoothing out your skin, leaving it a bit more flawless, this is something you should consider buying. This is good. I don't mind it. Okay. If you like this video, if you had fun just like me, please give this video a like. 
subscribe to my channel if you are new to it and don't forget to ring the bell because otherwise you will not get any notification whenever I upload a new video. I do try my best uploading once a week. Yeah, I try my best. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.